we have finally come to the end of this scientific experiment given to us by Nickel Brook Brewing Company and their Mystery Pack, Volume 2, all IPAs. We are on Mystery Beer D. So when you chuck that box away, we can get right into this beer. The final IPA in this Mystery Box series, one of them will become a full-time or at least a production beer. I don't know the name, I know all the ins and outs of it, I know everything about it. The rest will be lost in history forever. So it's a great opportunity. Thank you, Nickelbrook, for bringing these out, letting us decide for you which one to brew. And with that said, let's get right into it. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mayf Ruski from the Ruski Ruski Review, but not just any review, this is the final video in the Mystery Pack Volume 2 from Nickelbrook Brewing Company, all IPAs. We started out with a beautiful Mystery Beer A with notes of candy, uh, gay bacon strips, the rainbow bacon, candy bacon stuff, you know, good stuff. Uh, th that really shined, uh, hazy, beautiful yellow gold color, and moving in. To what I thought was maybe a brewed IPA, a lot, lot less flavor intensity on that one, a little sweeter, sugary sweetness to it. And then we got to Mystery Beer C. And to be completely honest, don't remember much of that one. It wasn't that memorable of uh, thinking about it now. It was a session IPA or a nano IPA, possibly, it was 3.5%. It was good from what I remember, but I don't remember much. So that tells you something. Um, I, thought maybe was, I thought it was maybe more citrusy. I'll have to double check. But if it doesn't stick in my mind, it's not a winner. Those first two really stuck in my mind, but for different reasons. Here, Mystery Beer D coming in at 4.3%. So more on that Session IPA kind of vibe, I want to say. No IBUs. Nothing crazy about it. Looking the exact same as the other can, just with a D instead of an A, B, or C. So let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Beer 101 Pint Glass, because that's how we roll down Niagara. Let's see. Is it going to be hazy? Is it going to be clear? What color is it going to be? And how is it going to stand up to the other mystery beers? Looking at the beer, a little deeper golden color, if I do say so myself. Not, maybe just as hazy, very similar to Mystery Beer A, hazier than the other two. Nice white head on top. Let's check the nose. On the nose. Okay, so similar to Mystery Beer A in the sense that it has that candy bacon, that can't, not candy bacon, can you know, uh, rainbow candy bacon stuff. It's not really bacon, they're just called gay bacon strips in the epic mealtime, so that's why I'm calling them that. But with a more citrusy orange grapefruit, clementine and lime, lemon, sorry, aroma to it, moving into a bit of a mango. A little, mm -hmm. Almost like a coconut, coconut shaving sort of aroma. Papaya, maybe hints of passion fruit going on in here. Very similar to A, not as not as crazy as unique and cool, but similar. So that was set. On the sip, totally changes from the nose. Melons, orange citrusiness, a little bit of lemon lime citrus, uh, uh, a sourness on the back end, um, sweet souriness but very light and airy on the flavors here. Not getting much, to be completely honest. Yeah, a little light. I think we need a little bit more research. So cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah. Quite airy. Quite uneventful. Definitely not the one for me. I like the beer, it's just, it is extremely refreshing, very light bodied, melon, cucumber, orangey citrusiness, not intense, light, 
and then a lemon lime sort of um, sweet, uh, soury, sort of a, a soury bitter uh, ness out of it. Quite refreshing of a beer, but just not enough adventure. Not enough adventure in this one. Light to moderate body, more on the light side. Easily crushable for this guy. 4.3% easily crushable, but I was kind of wishing there was a bit more flavor depth. It's a little, it's fairly basic, to be completely honest. In my opinion, in my own opinion, we see what Nickelbrook can do. But after those first initial sips, I know this is going to be one of those beers where I'm just going to forget about it in like two days or less than a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good beer. Don't get me wrong. It's a good beer, but this is not just looking if it's a good beer or not a good beer. We're looking for a clear cut winner. You can't choose two, you can only choose one. Good beer, not for me. Little, uh, little, little too light on the flavor intensities. Mystery Beer D, 4.3% alcohols by volume. Looks exactly the same. Ingredients are the exactly, exactly the same as well. Water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops, and yeast. On the bottom, you have a package on date, packaged on October 15th. So just over a month old. To vote, you go visit nickelbrook.com slash mystery pack. Please ensure each beer prototype is consumed in ideal scientific conditions. For best results, share with fellow beer scientists. I'm sharing it with you. And as you saw in the last video, I have an Erlenmeyer flask over there. And I have plates over there. So science is going on in this room here now with you. Um, over on the website, nickelbrook.com, you go to the beer section, you scroll down a bunch and you do find the mystery pack volume two. Description on here, each IPA in this pack is fantastic if we do say so ourselves, but it's up to you to decide which one gets the honor of being turned into a standalone release. No pressure, but this may be one of the most important decisions of your entire life. After you study each beer carefully and thoroughly, head here, there's a link, to cast your vote for your favorite beer. Once you've voted, you'll have the chance to claim one of 500 limited edition glasses and eat and enjoy the feeling of knowing that you made the world a better place. You'll also be automatically placed in a draw to win beer for a year. The beer that gets the most top votes will be released in the spring of 2021 better grab this pack quickly because it'll be gone in the flash. So when these videos are uploaded at the end of December, will this pack still be around? We do not know. Mystery Beer A came in at 5.5, Mystery Beer B at 6.5, C at 3.5, and this D at 4.3. Surprised they didn't do 4.5. Over on the untapped website mystery beer b has been given a 3.59 bottle caps out of five and that's at a 77 ratings i don't think that's the lowest one yet no i think mystery beer c is the lowest at 3.46 so yeah okay 3.59 still a respectable rating um but i'm surprised mystery beer a didn't get the top rating that got 3.56 as well. Oh wow, that's the lowest. Mystery Beer A is the lowest? What are we looking at here? A, 3.56. B, 3.7. Okay, they've changed a little bit since I was here yesterday. C got 3.46. Okay, so C is lowest. And then D, currently sitting at 3.59. Tight race, none of them are really breaking that four. Okay, okay, and on top that's fairly good most of the time. Interesting stuff. If you are so inclined to join this little adventure, if it's still available, I really hope it is. $13.95 for the four pack of beer. So you can uh, you know vote vote to your heart's content and uh, you know pick a beer to win. I'm going to go over the beer that I picked to win, and I think you already know that. Overall, this is a fairly fine, refreshing session IPA. 
but the flavor intensity is very, very low. It's a little airy. It's crisp and beautiful, but it's airy and not really what I thought it was gonna be, especially looking at the haziness of it. So with that said, cheers my final sip. Well, let's get ready to and wrap this thing up. And I will also show you who I'm voting for. Mystery Beer D. Mystery Beer D. Solid, solid session IPA in my opinion. I'm thinking that's the style of it. Too light to be a pale ale. Um, so I'm thinking session IPA style. It's, uh, ooh. It's just too airy. It's just too airy, too low flavor intensity. It's not my thing, but I can appreciate it for what it is. Overall, solid beer. Solid 7.3 out of 10 for me. Ash presentation, I forget what I gave the other three. I think I gave them either an eight or a nine out of 10, whatever they were for the other three. That's what I'm going with it. Not a ton of information because it is a mystery thing going on, but hey, here you go. You're good to go. Overall, yeah, that's pretty much it. So before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all, all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, we greatly appreciate it as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. I'll always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Here it is. My choices. First choice, Nickel Brook, Mystery Beer A, then D, then B, and then C. There we go. There we go. That's it. Go num go, go letter A. You're the winner in my in my mind. I voted I voted right last time. My winner won last time. Please. And again. Thanks for watching, guys.